Leo. Let's see what your big ass deck read has to say for you. Spirit, give me a quick message for Leo. Quick message for Leo, please. Excuse me. We got the lovers. Seven of wands in reverse. The world. Five of wands in reverse. Leo, you have finally come to um, a peaceful part in the love um, department. This could be a love department or just in general, Leo, where you have finally decided to let your guard down and open up to love. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Five of Wands in reverse is you. So you've decided to make some type of change or transformation in your love life. In your life period. I think this is amazing. Alright, let's get a little bit of clarity. Bless you. Could be a Gemini. Double Leo in here. This is definitely about you. Could be a Gemini that you're deciding to... Um, oh. We got Gemini and double Leo energy here. So you could be dealing with a Leo as well. But this, I feel like this is you. But um, Leo, there's also, there's also a chance that you might be walking away from your family. Or um, somebody that you have kids with. Somebody definitely close to you. You're leaving, you're walking away from someone so that you can offer something to someone else. Got Capricorn and Virgo and Cancer here. Yeah, you're going towards new love. Wow. Yeah, your guard has been up for quite some time. But it looks like you um, intuitively know that... It's like it's something that you were pro possibly doing in your past where you were very unstable or the relationship with this King of Pentacles in reverse was unstable. Um, It could be a father figure that you are walking away from too. There could have been two people in your past that were causing problems. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Aries, Taurus, father figure kind of person. Um, and you're exhausted from them. They cause too many issues with you. Sagittarius energy. Wow. So you're ending a cycle with somebody that's immature. You got the Empress in reverse and the Emperor in reverse. These could be parents, a couple, something. You're in, it's like you're ending a cycle with them and starting something new. You're rejecting this, um, whoever this is that can't move on from you because you damn sure want to move on from them. Yep, see? <laughs> Six of Swords is in reverse, but the chariot is here. It's like they don't want to let go of you, but you're like, you ain't got no choice. I don't want to fuck that. I want to be happy. Yeah. So this, like I said, this could be family or some exes or friends, something. Yeah, you're in a peaceful place right now. Five of Cups in reverse and you are moving. Wow, Five of Cups in reverse, Devil in reverse. You are definitely removing a lot of toxicity around you. Um, you could have had addictions to sex, drugs, money, whatever. You could have had some addictions. You could have been codependent on these people. Um, you could have been obsessed or, or given to the give into temptation a lot and that's changing you're changing you're freeing yourself from a lot of insecurities and being unhappy because you really want to be in a relationship you want love you definitely want love and you're healing yourself okay there's no doubt about that yeah laying things to rest so that you can take action towards somebody you might have somebody um you might have somebody that you're interested in that you're not telling anybody about. But um, you want, you going towards this. You're going towards stability in a relationship, a real partnership. Because it looks like it's been a while since you've had it. You've had one. Wow. That's interesting. You know? And it looks like you might be waiting to call them. Or are you making plans to call and talk to them about having a real relationship? Karmic justice in the house. To be an honest, telling them the truth. That's beautiful. Leo, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for when I upload or go live. Talk to you later.